and I'm right. How can I be of service? Liniments, filters, we have everything you need to cure what ails you. Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then... We can see the sights. There's also a sister ceremony to the River of Lights, in which the bonfires feel the energy all around you. At our very core, we are connected to the planet. Gas often visits. 
visited the field. These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Marmaki. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> Well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. A warm welcome to you, friends of Nanaki. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. It was quite a handful. Oh, 
<laughs> Have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Mind your manners in front of fellow Buchenhagen. too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> Fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. 
Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... It's only the beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. Whatever that essence were to be entirely depleted. of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education.
You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. If we have anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small with whom we share.
on the planet's thoughts and so memories by unlocking this knowledge. Oh, Miles is too high for To study planet. Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked in? The River of Lights is one way. It's so great. A seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I've uh, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh... Where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival.